Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Designer Slash Gamer. I love to design and I love to game. And when I get to do both of them at the same time, ah, it's magic! <laughs> you guys, today we are playing Lego Worlds! And we've got Agent Chase here. This is Sheila's boyfriend and Sheila. They are having dinner together for their eight month anniversary. I didn't think that was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. So here they are having dinner for their eight months anniversary. Looks like they are enjoying some pretzels and some coffee, maybe some water. It's a very fancy dinner here on the moon in the secret agent base. <laughs> you guys, these two are so cute together. They've been together since episode 50 or so, about eight months ago. Cause when it comes to you, I'm just another woman in love. A kid out of school, fire out of control. Just another fool. You touch me and I'm weak. I'm a feather in the wind. And I can't wait to feel you touch. Agent Chase, hey, so you have a present. He has an anniversary present for Sheila. Do you want to show me what it is? I hope it's something really good because, you know, Sheila is an explorer, she's a master builder, she's a tamer of dragons, so I hope you've picked out a pretty incredible present. Um, you know, we should walk over here though and talk about this. We don't want her to hear. We don't want her to hear. This is a, this is a present for your anniversary. I don't know what she's doing. She's, she's admiring the wall. So what's this present you've picked out? You think she's going to love it? Well, where, I mean, where is it? Why don't you show it to me? You're hiding it. Well, that's a good idea. Where is she going? Sheila, where are you going, girl? Oh, she had to get some fresh air. Okay, while she's doing that, why don't you show me this present? Yeah, okay. You guys, we're gonna follow Agent Chase and we're gonna see if this present, this anniversary present is uh, something worthy of Sheila. Is she still up there? Where is she? Okay, she's up there. Where'd you hide? Oh, it's down here in the basement? Oh, what is it? What is this? This is what you got, Sheila? This looks more like a present for you. I mean, did you only get this because you want to be able to play with the computer? This is not a good present, you guys. <laughs> Agent Chase, this is a toy. This is a toy for you. This is not how you get presents. Okay, let me give you a better idea here. No, no, no. Stop playing with the computer. <laughs> Let me give you a better idea for a present. Sheila has been looking for the Minotaur, and she can't find it anywhere. And apparently it's in a dungeon somewhere, but she can't find it. So how about you go and find her the Minotaur, and that could be your present. And maybe... I don't know if you're able to unlock a red dragon too, or the night dragon. She doesn't have either one of those, and that would complete her dragon collection. That is a gift worthy of Sheila, not this silly computer. What do you even do with that? I mean, what is this? It doesn't even have a touch screen. That is the worst computer I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go on an adventure with Agent Chase. We're going to find the Minotaur. And we're gonna try to find the red or the night dragon, and that can be Sheila's present. <gasps> is she coming? Look, there she is on the map. You better hope she doesn't see that present, because she's gonna dump you, right? <laughs> and Agent Chase, what are we gonna tell Sheila? Because obviously we can't bring her with. This is a anniversary present for her, so we can't bring her. What are we gonna tell her? I'm not lying for you. Don't even ask me to. What's that? A secret. You want me to tell her that you are going on a secret mission and it's top secret and he can't tell her why. That's actually not a bad idea, so let's go ahead and do that. Because then it's not really lying, it's, it is a secret mission. <laughs> uh, Sheila? Where is she? There's a blue spaceman. Uh, looks like she's over here somewhere. She's on the map. Oh, is she on the bridge? Oh, there she is. <gasps> Sheila! Hey! Whoa. Uh, so Agent Chase has a secret mission to go on, and he needs me to... <laughs> he needs me to help him out. Uh-oh. Buddy, she's mad. You really better get her an amazing present, because now, now she's mad. 
Look at her over there. <gasps> she won't even look at you. Uh-oh. You can redeem yourself as long as you get her an amazing present. So, let's head to the rocket ship. What, what is she doing? <gasps> oh, the spider was chasing her. Uh, be safe, Sheila. We'll be back. <laughs> so, if you guys are fairly new to the channel, you probably haven't seen the moon base yet. It's pretty amazing. It's right here. We built the moon base. When did we build that? It was probably episode 50 or so. Wait, no. When was it? I think it, uh, I don't know. It was like episode 54. Actually, you know what we should do? We should fly over the moon base so you guys can see it, just in case you haven't seen some of the older episodes here. So we're going to hop in a helicopter here, and we're going to show you guys the amazing moon base. There we go. Look at this. Isn't it cool? We still need to fix this part, though, because we accidentally blew a hole into the side of that building there. I think that was around Christmas time. <laughs> All right, let's fly over it. Look how amazing it is. So this is Agent Chase's secret agent base on the moon where he conducts some very secret business. We are going to add on to this in the future. We need to add some furniture and we need to add some secret computer systems and all kinds of fun stuff to help out Agent Chase in his uh, secretive projects. I don't know what he's doing. This is his landing pad and has an A for agents. And that's uh, one of his co-workers down here. She's pretty cool. Miranda or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's head to the rocket ship. I think it's this way. There we go. Let's hop out of the helicopter here. And let's hop in the rocket ship. All right. I feel weird not seeing Sheila's face going on an adventure. You better be fun, Agent Chase. You do seem pretty fun. I don't know if you're as fun as Sheila, though. <laughs> okay, let's hop in the rocket ship. And let's go find a Minotaur. All right, guys, we have created a huge world with the Dusty Dunes biome in the hopes of finding, I think it's called a Sand Maze. It's basically a desert dungeon, and we're hoping that Minotaurs spawn in there. So we're in the rocket ship, and it's Agent Chase. I hope he can fly this thing. Hey, buddy, do you have a license to fly these rockets? Uh... You really shouldn't be sleeping. <laughs> you don't wanna, you don't want, these things don't fly themselves. Oh, <laughs> uh, well this is already pretty cool, you guys. There is a Sphinx right here. And there are four, five, five dungeons. <gasps> is that a camel? Hi, camel. What do you want? You want, you want us to take you to the water? Where's the water? Okay, we'll do that. Let's put a beacon right here. That's the easiest way to uh, navigate. Where's the beacon? There it is. All right, come on, camel. You guys, we want to unlock this camel and all he wants is to be taken to the water. He's just, just a sweet, thirsty guy. Hey, buddy. So that would make a pretty good present for uh, Sheila. One of many. There's pyramids everywhere. <gasps> There's the Anubis guard who we don't have yet. We need to unlock him. All right, come here, camel. Come here, get yourself a drink, buddy. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now we can discover him. Get out of the water, Agent Chase. Yay! Should we ride this camel? I feel like we should ride the camel. Come on, buddy. Get the... <gasps> what just happened? Okay, the camel's pretty awesome. <laughs> you guys, we're gonna need a name for this awesome camel. <laughs> he's a little bit lazy, keeps falling over, but he's cute. Maybe something with a C. You no, know we should do though. Let's we'll hop off the camel and let's see what this uh, Anubis guard wants because we haven't unlocked him yet. He wants it. <laughs> guys, the little voices. <laughs> we lost one of her highness's possessions. Have you seen it? I'll reward you. Actually, we do have a, a yellow jewel. That was super easy. Yay! Oh, we already had that. But we did not yet have the Anubis Guard. And now we've got him. All right. Let's hop back on the camel. Ooh, look at the gold scorpion. Ooh. Let's hop back on. Hey, buddy, wake up. 
<laughs> Wake up! There we go. All right, we're back on the camel. Let's do a little exploring. We're gonna head to one of these uh, dungeons and we'll do some exploring along the way. Let me attack these guys on the camel. Yep. The way they have swords, they're probably gonna kill us. Yeah, let's not. Let's not try that. That's probably not an even match. <laughs> All right. Oh, we have to cross the water to get to the dungeons. How about those dungeons over there? Let's go this way. You guys, there's camels everywhere. I can't believe we didn't have camels unlocked yet. I feel rather silly. <laughs> So we are on the hunt for some jewels, possibly, for a minotaur, and also for the red dragon and the night dragon. But I don't, is that a crocodile? Fighting a ostrich? Okay. Um, I don't think the, I think the red dragon and the night dragon actually spawn in different biomes, so we probably won't find them. You guys, there are sphinxes and pyramids everywhere. But there's treasure buried all over the place. We probably won't find those dragons here because this entire planet is dusty dunes biomes. But we're gonna keep a lookout nonetheless because who knows? Maybe they do spawn here. Oh yeah, look at the Egyptian lady. Do we have her yet? Does she have a quest? We might actually. She's so cool. Okay, so if we see one, if we see one of those characters with a quest, we need to unlock her because she's pretty awesome. Oh no! So we do have to go across the water no matter what. That's fine. Can they? Get, can this guy swim? Let's see. Can he swim? He totally can. <laughs> so we are swimming across the. Oh, it's not a very. It's not a very wide ocean here. That's no big deal. All right, and let's head to, ooh, that's kind of steep. This camel's amazing. <gasps> Is this it? Oh, you guys, we haven't been in one of these yet. Those windows are pretty cool. All right, let, <laughs> let's, hop, let's hop off the camel here. And let's discover these windows. Oh, those are cool. I wish you could just get the window by itself, though, without the uh, rocks around so that you could um, put different color bricks around it. Okay, let's put this away. Let's go into Agent Chase's perspective now. And let's head in. Where's the door? Let's head into the dungeon. Oh. All right, you know we have to discover this door. And I'm pretty sure we have all these lights and stuff. Yeah, we already have these. We already have that too. All right, let's go in. <gasps> you guys, this is gonna be really fun. <sighs> Do we have those things yet, you guys? Oh, you better, look at this guy over here. You better watch out, buddy. No, Agent Chase, this is not a good gift for Sheila. I don't even know what she would do with that. How do we even, are we just gonna have to go for it? All right, let's just, uh, just jump, jump. There we go. Oh, you guys, look at all the skeleton heads. This is a very unusual kind of dungeon. I think it's called the Sandstone Maze. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what these are called. And I'm guessing that means they're a maze. Oh, hey, buddy. Get him, Agent Chase. Let's see if his fighting is as good as Sheila's. Oh, it doesn't seem bad. It's not bad. All right, did you guys hear that? Must be more skeletons down here. Let's go ahead and get these treasure chests while we're in here. Let's get this money. That skeleton? That's all happening below us, you guys. All right, let's see. What is up here? Ooh, more gold. Nobody, go this way. Nope. There we go. 
All right, let's get all this gold. And no, you can't just get her money for your eight month anniversary. You have to actually give her something cool. She doesn't even need money. She has like over a million dollars, so a million studs. All right, let's see, where do we come from? I think that's where we came from. So let's go, let's get this money. All right, so let's see, why don't we go, I think we came from that way, let's go this way. Okay, we might need to go into third person here to navigate this. Okay, run buddy, run, 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 run. There we go. All right, let's see, what's over here? So we have some spinny bladey things that are kind of like that, but they're not quite, they're not the same as these. Okay. Oh. We were, that was on purpose. We were just testing to make sure they work. Okay, let's see. See if we can get across this without burning ourselves here. Oh, too late. Oh, sorry. There's so much money back here. Look at all this. We barely made it out of there. Yes, if you want to eat that donut, you can. I know you're probably you're probably hungry. This has been a been a rough journey so far. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go. Ooh. Wait, is this where we came from? That's where we came from. <laughs> okay, so let's go this way. Man, you guys, I thought the last dungeon was intense, but this one, is, this is pretty crazy. All right, let's get this money. Is there anything up there? There's probably a lot of money up there. Eh, let's skip it for now. You know, I'm very impressed with you, Agent Chase. You're going through all of this just to get Sheila an eight month anniversary present. It's very impressive. <laughs> Whoa. You guys, these doorways are really cool. Look at those. Okay. Uh, I guess we can get this money really quick. Get it. No, these are not hot tubs. I know they look very inviting. But you really don't want to uh, sink your toes into one of those because you won't be getting your toes back out. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Is this a dead end? No. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at those! We got some skeletons to fight. All right, come here. We're just doing this the old fashioned way. We don't want to bother with uh, weapons right now. Get him! Yes! You guys, Agent Chase isn't bad. He's pretty good at all this. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's try not to burn ourselves here. Oh, well, just kidding. Oh, well, just bounce your way through then. What could be in here? It's probably not a minotaur. It's a key. All right, let's get this money, and then let's fight these skeletons really quick. And then let's get out of here. Oh. Hey, guys. Hey, we're just gonna key you. <laughs> well, the key works pretty well. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We're just bouncing our way through here. It's much faster than uh, trying to <laughs> trying to jump over those. Okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Now we gotta figure out how to get downstairs. Where are the freaking stairs, you guys? All right, buddy, we don't wanna get flame broiled, so let's try to be careful here. Jump here. Parkour was never my strong suit. It's not easy. Uh, ooh. Okay, how do we time this? Oh. Like that? Oh wait! Ah! <laughs> like that. Okay. Was this all for money? It's only money back here. Oh. Oh, you guys really like the way they did this. Look at these arches. 
is opening. That's a really nice idea. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, you guys, look. There's the treasure chest. All right, let's open it up and see what's in here. There we go. What could it be? Skeleton, go away. Get off. All right, ready? Don't ruin our moment, bro. There we go. What's in here? Is that the ice bow we already had? Yeah, buddy, we already had the ice bow, so you really can't, uh, that can't be your gift to Sheila, because she's already got it. Mm. Yeah, I know you didn't know. I know you're feeling pretty distraught right now, because you don't have a good gift yet. <laughs> but don't worry, it's okay. We will find a gift for Sheila, because you have to celebrate your eight month anniversary, right? Was there anyone else we wanted to unlock around here? Where do you unlock this guy? We didn't unlock this awesome Egyptian lady though. Can we unlock you? Have we unlocked her? Nope. Huh? She's like, huh? Why don't we check out one of these uh, sphinxes over here and see, see if we can find anything cool in here. Where's our camel? All right, here's, uh, here's our camel. Let's hop on. Okay, it's much funner riding the desert on a camel. How do we get in? How do we get in the Sphinx? Okay, I take that back. Hop off the camel here. And let's figure out how we can get into the Sphinx. Do you go in the head? Oh, is it right here? Oh, that's it. Ooh, this is a dangerous Sphinx. <gasps> oh, look at this. All right, let's see what's in here. Ah. What is that? Is that a brick? Pretty sure we already had that brick. This is no King Tut's tomb. I was reading that they actually recently discovered a brand new Egyptian tomb from thousands of years ago. I was always really fascinated with Egyptian culture when I was a kid. Those are some of my favorite history classes. Because the fact that they built these incredible monuments, like the Sphinx and the pyramids that are still here today, and they built them thousands of years ago. That is pretty amazing. I was also really amazed to learn that they, the pyramids used to be covered in white marble and they had a gold cap on top. So they looked very different than they do now. They didn't have like this brown sort of jagged stone look. They used to be like really white, polished, gleaming, perfectly flat buildings. And that must have looked so awesome in the desert. Okay, how do we get into this pyramid? Hey. Are you stuck? No, you're good. Let's see if we can find a way into this pyramid here. We may have to blow a hole in it. Speaking of blowing things up, so one of you guys wanted me to give the skeletons dynamite. <laughs> so I did, actually. And the skeletons, I should have realized this, if you give them dynamite, they blow holes in everything. So there's no way to undo. Once you put a code in to your game, I don't know any way to undo it. So I actually had to not save the game and exit because I didn't want the skeletons to have dynamite and blow up Ivory City. And putting the code in will create skeletons with dynamite, I think, on every world that's in your saved game. So be careful if you do that because then they're gonna damage, they're gonna damage your world. <gasps> Dude, what are you doing? Did we just kill the camel? Let's throw it right here. Not there. Here. There we go. Alright, let's get up here. And let's get this money. Is there anything over here? Nope. Can we go up? Oh. Down here. Can we get in there? Ooh, look at this. Got some more money back here. Did we get it all? It's 
a pretty cool little pyramid, you guys. Oh, yes. What could be in here? Aha! What is that? A road blade! Another thing I think we already had. Guys, do we have the ostrich yet? Oh, I don't know if we have the ostrich yet. Oh, we have to fight the alligator? Oh, well, that wasn't a really fair. I mean, that was like kind of impossible. <laughs> Are there a lot of alligators in the desert? I don't really think that's a thing. All right, let's get back on our camel here and let's keep exploring this incredible desert world. Hey, Snakey. So, are there towns? There's dungeons. I don't see any towns, though. It'd be really cool if there was, like, a desert town. But I don't think there is. Just some pyramids. Look at all the mummies running around. Hey, mummy! Can we... How does the camel fight? Can we fight? Can we camp... Look at you guys. Look at this. This is, what, this is how the camel fights. <laughs> it doesn't look very tough. Not very menacing. Oh, so we have a mummy on a motorcycle. What are you gonna do with that, buddy? <laughs> Let's take a look at the mini-map and see if there's anything that we haven't... Oh, sorry! Guys, he totally made like a... He made a little dog sound. Let's see. Yeah! <laughs> this is kind of rude, but he makes a funny sound. <laughs> sorry, Anubis Guard but you make a really funny sound and it's cute. <laughs> let's hop in our Agent Heli pack. And let's head to one of these gold bricks and see if maybe one of them is the awesome Egyptian lady. Uh, so let's go this way. Guys, look at him. <laughs> look at him shaking. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa, okay, we don't want to do that. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go toward this gold brick. What do we got down here? This actually looks pretty interesting. What is going- Oh, you guys, it's an Egyptian lady! It's the one we want to unlock! What is this? Yes! Yes! Hello! Hello, your Egyptian-ness. You want us to build something? <laughs> However, will I get my new throne room complete now? She's so regal. Oh, she wants us to build. Okay, well that is super, super easy. We're not actually going to build her a fancy throne room. She doesn't know this. But we're just gonna kinda, we're just gonna, we're just gonna build some bricks. Until we hear that magic sound, ding! And then we know we're done building. Hey, we're done! Okay. Ew, what is that? What the heck? Why is there a ghost version of her right behind her? Look at this. What is that? What's happening? There's a ghost Egyptian lady behind her. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, she sounds really excited. Are you sure you're finished? Yes. Looks like the ghost disappeared. I like her throne. We got her, you guys! We got her! Yay! That's pretty amazing. We were looking everywhere for her, and now we have her. You guys, she's beautiful. She looks like Cleopatra. I hope you enjoy your throne room. It's really not going to protect you from the elements. But then again, you don't really need to protect from the elements in a Lego world because there aren't any elements. You guys, snakes. Ew, look at the... <laughs> I have never seen that before. Look at that. It's a scorpion stinging the snake. <laughs> we have searched and searched. Still no minotaur. So we're going to have to do that in a future episode. <laughs> we will find that minotaur. But in the meantime, we really need to find a present for Sheila. So... Let's head to the Wicked Wasteland because there is a red dragon in the Wicked Wasteland and we can give Sheila a red dragon. That's perfect because we're actually going to work on Chinatown in this episode. 
and what goes better with Chinatown and eight month anniversaries than a red dragon, right? You guys, Agent Chase just topped out of the rocket to find a red dragon here. And we need a crystal weapon because he has crystal hearts. So we could try using the crystal bow. I don't know, I feel like the crystal scimitar works really well though. He's gonna totally kill us. This is not gonna work. Nope. <laughs> Look at him, he's all black. Oh my gosh. The dragon totally turned Agent Chase. Look, he totally burned him. Look, um, okay, where'd he go? Oh no, he's flying away. Let's get him. Can we get him from all the way over here? He's totally gonna get us. <gasps> We probably should get out of the way, huh? Oh, we almost got him! We get him! We get him! Did we get him? We got him! Wait, where'd he go? Did he fall in the lava? Oh, man! <sighs> so, you guys, we want to give a shout out to one of our friends on YouTube. His name is, I think you pronounce it Bear. If that's wrong, let me know. It's B E R R E. He comments regularly on the videos and he loves watching, oh, there's uh, the dragon. He loves watching Sheila's adventures and he wanted us to give him a shout out. So here we are. If you guys want a shout out, then just let me know in the comment section and I will try to give you a shout out. Here we go. Dang it. Not easy. Where'd he go? Where's the dragon? Come here, dragon. Come back. Wow, this is, dragon hunting is really hard. Let's try it from down here. So there's another uh, Lego Worlds gamer. His name, he goes by Topple Not Gaming on YouTube. He has a really fun dragon hunting series. So you guys should check it out. He makes some really fun episodes where he hunts all of the dragons and they're really good. Better watch out, buddy. Oh. Did we get him? <gasps> you guys, we got the red dragon! Oh my gosh! Yay! <sighs> Agent Chase, you finally have a good present for Sheila. Finally, not that stupid computer. Yay, Agent Chase, you got the dragon! So you know what we should do? While we're out and about, we should also try to get the night dragon and then we can complete Sheila's collection of dragons. Okay, let's head back to the rocket ship. Let's see, where is it? It's over there, okay. All right, let's hop in the rocket ship. I think it's this one. We already created an entire world with the ornamental orchard. And apparently at night, the night dragon will spawn in the ornamental orchard. Bye dragon. All right guys, here we are in the ornamental orchard. This entire world is the ornamental orchard. And this is where we came to take a look at the Chinatown brick builds to get some great ideas for building Chinatown in Ivory City. Uh, but you know what? Night dragons only spawn at night, so we need to spin the sky. Hi, Lady Meowington! Hi, pretty lady! Oh! Guys, I don't know why she hissed at, uh, Agent Chase. Okay. Let's change day to night. Not with a drumstick. With the sky spinner. And let's hope that the night dragon spawns. Okay. <gasps> Is that one right there? Seriously? It was that easy? That's a red dragon. I see one on the map though. Is that a black dragon? Is that a... No, that is him! <gasps> okay, we're going to use our trusty crystal simter. And we're gonna hope this works. Usually if you get right underneath them like this, and you don't let them shoot you with their fireballs. No, don't! You gotta be careful not to. 
You don't want to get... Yeah, you don't want to get in their path like that and let them uh, destroy you. You have to get right underneath them. <gasps> Did we get him? Did we get him? <gasps> you guys! We got the... Oh, well... We had to pay a heavy price for this. But we got... We got the Night Dragon! Is he falling asleep? We need to hop on him before this guy gets him. What the heck, dude? Get off of him! The Samurai Lady's trying to get the dragon. The samurai! Get off! You're gonna get blown up. Alright, how do we hop on this dragon? We need to get him out of here. There we go. Let's get out of here with this dragon. No, get... Okay, we need to teach this samurai lady a lesson here. Oh, you guys, he creates lava. Did we get her? Man, she's, she's a tough one, this uh, samurai lady. Where'd she go? Okay, this should be a good. Let's see. We can get a good. Uh... Oh yeah. We got your number, samurai lady. There's two samurais down here now. Can we get them? I think we got them, dude. Okay. Well. We have some building to do. We need to work on uh, Chinatown. In fact, Agent Chase, you know what? You know what would also be another super awesome present? Sheila has been building so much. It would be really nice if you were to help build Chinatown. We could sneak back to Ivory City. We can work on Chinatown. And then we can go back and get Sheila and show her how awesome Chinatown is. And we can give her her new dragons. How does that sound? Yeah? All right. <laughs> let's hop on the rocket ship and let's head to Ivory City and let's work on Chinatown. After we give Sheila her present and we show her Chinatown, we're gonna get some more of you guys moved in. We have a list of people to move into Ivory City. So stick around to the end of the episode and we're gonna get you moved in if you've commented on the videos. Okay. So stick around to the end of the episode and we're gonna get you all moved in. All right, Agent Chase, hop in the rocket. And let's head to Ivory City.
right, guys, we are all done building for now, and we're just showing Sheila. She loves it. Yeah, Agent Chase, she is thrilled that you spent so much time helping her build Chinatown. Um, well, I should say helping her work on Chinatown. You guys, we have a lot more. It's beautiful, but we have a lot more work to do on Chinatown. <laughs> It's gonna take us a while. I always have huge ambitions for projects and um, they take a long time because I put a lot of detail into them. But it's fine, because you know what? We have plenty of time, because we're gonna be playing this game forever. So, uh, Sheila, do you wanna see your other presents? Where'd you go? She already ran off. All right, well, she's over there somewhere. We'll, we'll find her in a second. Let's place her dragons. So let's see, we have a night dragon, and then we have a red dragon. Ooh, it's gonna be expensive. We even have, have enough money. We, we have about enough money to place these guys. <laughs> let's put the red dragon here, and then we'll put the night dragon right over here. Yeah, we're like, that was so expensive, you guys. That was crazy. Night dragon, all right. Those are our amazing, amazing new dragons. Let's see what they look like uh, from Chase's perspective. Ooh. Hey, buddy, you gonna be nice to us? He doesn't look very happy. Well, welcome to Ivory City, guys. <laughs> Speaking of welcoming people to Ivory City, we have some new friends to move in. Got a list right here. Oh, those dragons are... I think they're attacking some of our citizens. <laughs> Dragons are territorial, you guys. Okay, so we've got some new people to move in. So let's get started moving our new friends in here. So first of all, first of all, we have Sabine, and he wants to be the Anubis Guard. Welcome to Ivory City, Sabine. <laughs> all right, look at him. He's already ready to fight those dragons. Okay, who's next? Who's next? We have Jake, and he wants to be, oh, Jake. We didn't unlock the Minotaur yet. Dude, we are gonna find that Minotaur someday. Um, if you wanna be someone else in the meantime though, let me know in the comment section, because it might take us a while to unlock that Minotaur. <laughs> okay, then we have Parth wants to be the robot, and their favorite color is gold. So let's get Parth moved into Ivory City. Welcome to Ivory City, Parth. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Okay, then we have Jalen. Jalen, you didn't tell me who you want to be. Who do you want to be, Jalen? Favorite color is orange. Yeah, actually, Jalen, I'm not sure who you want to be, so let me know what minifig you want to be. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, then we have whole hogs, and they want to be the alien, but you guys, I don't think actually, oh, we haven't unlocked the alien yet. Sorry, whole hogs. Uh, we'll put that on our list. We will unlock the alien. I think the alien's on the moon. I mean, that would make sense, alien moon. Okay, then we have Sebastian. He wants to be Dan Brickman. All right, we have Dan Brickman, and Sebastian's favorite color is cool Coleridge blue. All right. Welcome to Ivory City, Sebastian. <laughs> we got a lot of Dan Brickmans running around. Okay, then we have Will, and Will wants to be the skeleton, and Will's favorite color is blue. <laughs> so welcome to Ivory City, Will. Then we have Mart, who wants to be the bandit. And Mart, you didn't tell me your favorite color. Tell me your favorite color in the comment section. I'm gonna put the bandit right down there. <laughs> so welcome to Ivory City, Mart. All right, next we have Mifta. Mifta? Mifta, I think. Uh, they wanna be the swamp police officer. So let's see, where's the swamp? There we go. Welcome to Ivory City, Mifta. Hope I pronounced that right. Okay, then we have Kaya. Kaya wants to be the werewolf. So let's get Kaya moved in. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to Ivory City, Kaya. All right, then we have Noah. Noah wants to be the green ninja, which I think is J. Lloyd. Lloyd. All right, let's put. Uh, let's put Noah right over here. <laughs> Got him on the Eiffel Tower. Welcome to Ivory City, Noah. Then we have Master Builder. 
Their favorite color is dark red, and they want to be the police officer. Police officer, serious. Ooh, I hope you want to be the serious one. <laughs> Put him right over here. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't run around like Dan Brickman with your hands in the air. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.